guys, I thought I would open up the vlog. We're in full on cottage mode here. We just drove up yesterday and it was a good drive. It always says it'll take about four and a half hours to get here, but when you have two kids and a dog and extra people in the car, we managed to stretch the trip to close to seven with all the construction and stuff. Plus, we stopped at one spot on our way, which is like our favorite spot. It's like this orchard that we always stop at. And someone accidentally rear-ended my car, so that sucked. It's okay, it was like just a scuff. I have a picture actually, if I remember. I'll try and insert it if I remember. Um, but yeah, this guy, he just, he backed right into me. Like I backed up and then he backed up into me and he felt so bad, but thankfully <clears throat> it didn't ruin our trip. And we just, I mean, my bumper is on fine. Everything is fine. Um, so we continued on our trip. We got here like five o'clock yesterday and we are in official cottage mode. I was so tired last night. I didn't do anything except hang out. Um, but I did bring like, I don't even know exactly how many, probably like 12 books. There's no way I'm gonna get through them all. But I decided that the first book I'm gonna read is A Man Called Uva. I picked this one because it's one of the shortest ones. So I'm gonna see if I can kick this out pretty quickly. Also, this is the one, where is it? This is the one that's signed as I hit myself with the book. So anyway, hopefully this clip's not too windy. Hopefully all the clips aren't too windy, uh, but I'm gonna do some reading. It's like 10 o'clock, 10.30 maybe in the morning. I'm so excited to be here. It's so beautiful. I love this place. Anyway, gonna do some reading, gonna do some hanging out, and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Hey guys, it's Saturday. Windy again. Uh, I am, what am I? Honestly, I thought you usually get a lot more reading done, but I'm on like page 59. We've just been having fun and there's been lots of distractions, but page 59 of A Man Called Uva and I just am loving it. Sorry, it's like, of course the cloud just moved and now I'm blinded, um, but I'm just loving it so much and I'm gonna sneeze. I've been loving it so much so far and I know it has like a dark premise. I don't know if I should mention it. I'll like, maybe I'll put it down in the description because I don't want to spoil anything. Um, I don't really know if the premise of it is that much of a spoiler or not, but it, I had heard things, but I didn't know how early on it told about it in the book. It's pretty early on, but I absolutely love him. I love his character. I have like a huge, I don't even know how to put it. Like there, I have a huge soft spot, I guess is the best way to put it. For like old grumpy 
people, especially old, lonely people. I don't know. It just it just tugs right at my heartstrings. So, and he's not even that old. He's only 59, but older than me. Anyway, I am loving it so far. I plan on reading as much of it as I can today. I picked it because I think it's the shortest book that I brought. Um, but I love Bachman's writing and I'm loving this book and I am so excited that I finally picked it up. I was gonna pick up Us Against You and I ended up grabbing this one instead because it was a little bit shorter. Figured I would start the holiday off with that. Everyone's just chilling. We did a lot of swimming this morning and a lot of other stuff. Jared and Rainer are, can't see them. They're, I don't know where they are. Somewhere out in the lake fishing and I'm just gonna read while they're gone. My dad's making some hot dogs. I'm gonna have some lunch and man, I just love cottage. Cottage? I love the cottage. It's so relaxing. There's no schedule. There's really like no time frame, no set bedtimes, no set anything. It's just relaxation time. And hopefully you can't hear all that wind. We had a storm forecast for yesterday. It missed us. We have another storm forecast for today. Hopefully it also misses us. It'd be nice. It's super hot. It's like 31 celsius which is fine but it's like 43 with the humidex so i keep just dipping into the water and coming back out anyway i'm gonna go do some more reading and eat some lunch and just hang out and i'll catch up with you soon so I'm sure you guys can tell there's something wrong with my face. Do you see this? I feel like I'm gonna sneeze again. I'm gonna look at the sun. So anyway, my parents, they just got home with my kids. And as they pulled in the driveway, something bit me like right here. And now my eye is just slowly taking over my entire face. Um, I did read a bit today. <laughs> I'm at like page one, 152, I think. I'm hoping I can finish it tomorrow if I get a lot done tonight, if I can, you know, keep this eye from swelling shut. I did do a lot of reading today. <laughs> had a good day, it's very relaxing. But I thought I would uh, show you what's going on here. But I'm gonna go attempt to read some more and hang out. I did take an antihistamine because my sister had one. So uh, just waiting for that to kick in. Bug Bites and I do not get along, as you guys will know from recent videos. <laughs> Ooh, look at it. So calm. So beautiful. And this is not special effects. Yep. Uh, so, this is what happened from the bite yesterday. And at first I was not going to show you guys. But, like, it doesn't hurt, so it's kind of hilarious but also horrible. And uh, this is what we're dealing with. Uh, quick uh, update on a man called Uva. I have about 90 pages left. I'm loving it so far, but I'm gonna keep this really short because I don't wanna make you guys stare at this monstrosity for too long. Uh, I am taking any histamines. My dad went into town today, this morning, and they told me to take them every six hours. So that's what we're gonna start doing. My eyes actually open more than it was when I woke up this morning. So that's a win and I've been icing it, and I'm just gonna go and hopefully look less like a crazy creature, and I will check in with you next time with hopefully a less swollen face.
guys, it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? I never know what day it is. I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. Anyway, um, came out here to show you guys. Look at how pretty, okay, you can't see. I did a little panorama thing. Anyway, the lake is like glass today. My eye is so much better than it was a couple days ago. It was pretty rough that, it didn't hurt at all. Like, I don't know if I said that. It didn't hurt, like at all. It was a little sore just around here when I blinked. But my actual face was was fine. There was no pain or anything. It was just insanely like kind of stiff and swollen and it was so bad. I have not, I've never had a reaction quite like that. I've had swelling from bites before, but I've never been bit like right here so that it just pulled down my face before. It was definitely an experience I'd be okay with never reliving. Um, I was taking allergy pills like every six hours all day yesterday and the day before and it finally took the swelling down this far. Um, I stopped taking them today because I don't want to like, I don't know, overdo it with the allergy pills. I don't know. They said take them until the swelling is pretty much gone. It's pretty much gone. Anyway, I can't remember if I mentioned this in the last clip or not, but I did start a new book called, or I finished a man called Uva. Hopefully I didn't talk about it yet, but I loved that book. I'm not gonna do like a big thing right now. I'll just do it in my monthly wrap up, but I really, really loved it. I thought the story was beautifully written. I just, I loved it. It was so funny and I know it's like a super heavy topic, but somehow Bachman managed to just have this like hilarious way of writing such a sad tone of book or whatever. Does that make sense? If you guys have read it, you know what I mean. Like it was so funny and so heartwarming, but also so sad all at the same time. And man, that ending killed me once again. The endings, oh my goodness, the endings of Bachman's books just, <gasps> just got me every single time that, every single time. Um, but today my sister and the kids and I are gonna head into town for a little bit. We just need to like drop off some empties, stuff at the LCBO, restock. Um, I think we're gonna take them to the park. There's like a little tiny park in town. And then we're gonna come back here because this is where I love to be. Um, oh, but what I was gonna say was I started a new book called The Cherry Harvest. And I, it was kind of a cover buy. It was in the scratch and dent thing on book outlet last summer. And I picked it up last year. And I have some books that have been on my shelf for like six years and I'm trying not to buy things that'll just sit there for six years again. So I've been trying to read more like backlist books and like more books that I bought previous so that I can get through. Like I'll read like some new ones and then I'm like, okay, I've had this for a while. I'm going to try and read this one. And it's a World War II historical fiction, but it's set in the States in Wisconsin, I think. Um, and it's about these people who are farmers and they don't have anyone there to pick like the summer fruit and stuff because all the boys and men are off at war and it's set in like 1944 so like right near the end of the war pretty much um but it's about this family and these farmers in this area who get german prisoners of war to work the fields for them and i'm pretty sure the daughter of this family is going to fall in love with one of the german prisoners and there's going to be drama and people aren't going to like it but so far I really like it. Like, I don't know. So far, I like the writing. It's super easy to read. I've only read about 50 pages so far, so it could all change. But it's just, I think it's going to be like, probably if I was to predict a solid four star, I think. Anyway, I am so far really enjoying it. I think it's going to be a pretty solid read. I'm excited to read it. I think I'll probably be able to finish it pretty quickly. And I'm hoping to read at least, whoa, ho, ho, ho. I didn't fall off, but that step's a little uneven. <laughs> Um, I'm hoping to read at least three books while I'm up here. We'll see. It's only Wednesday, so I have time, and I think we're driving home on Saturday, so we'll see.